Oh, hey, David. All right. So, what? Uh, oh, sorry, Dave. Um, so Dave's about that six seven life. Yeah, he just feel the stereo. How warm it is. Wow, that's that's kind of that's kind of <laughs> I don't know what that is. That kind of ruins my day. Well, it's like it's like you get in the truck and it's cold, but you know how your steering wheels usually like frozen. It's frozen, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let me get let me get in on this. So. David has uh, has always been the the six liter guy over the past five years. Was it five years since since we did all that work on his six liter? Been bulletproof. So he finally got himself into a six seven, and now he's been driving this thing around. And uh, and you like it so far? Yeah. Other than the gearing, he doesn't like the gearing because I think it has four tens in it. Yeah, four tens. But so now I haven't been a six liter guy for probably the past I don't even know how many. Probably about the past four years, I haven't really messed with them, worked on them, did any of stuff like that. Um, I think the last one I did was maybe like three years ago. But uh, if you guys see my video yesterday, uh, doing the little uh, Ford Ranger review for the 2019, uh, I was talking to, to Colton over there. He's like, "Yeah, we just ended up getting this this truck in on trade-in, um, but we can't sell it because it, you know it has some damage to the bed and some other stuff." And I was like, "Oh, how much do you guys want for it?" So. We worked out a price that I think it's a, it's an 05, a 06, or a 07. Um, King Ranch, or maybe it's just a Lariat, Lariat. Just a Lariat, but uh, has uh, some damage to the bed, and it's a six liter power stroke, and uh, I don't know, it, it has a tuner and some other stuff on it. We're gonna see, I guess we'll be able to look at it a little bit closer once, uh, once we get it back. But uh, I'm kinda, I don't know, I'm scared and I'm stoked about it. Dave doesn't think it's a good idea. I think it has blown head gas. It has some like silver stuff in the coolant. It had some weird looking stuff in the coolant, but I don't know. I mean, maybe, maybe it's just get, maybe it's just a freaking six liter. But uh, yeah, we'll show you a little bit more about it when um, when we get there. But literally, it's the same day as the Ranger video. We just we're going back. All right, we're back. This is the first time I've ever bought a vehicle from a dealer. Hey, so. I, uh, Sir, I, just I, was, you my when I, I was telling Colton that this is the first time I've ever done this thing. Ty's at the gym right now. He uh, he didn't believe me that I was buying a truck. Look at that. See, now now when I tell people to I come... I can't believe this. He's buying a truck. Can you believe this? This is the first so, thing. He only buys auction stuff. I mean, now, look at this. I got him talking into a new truck. So now when uh, when I tell people to come see you, now I know... See, you're not, not a high-pressure salesman. I was actually right. pressuring you to sell it. That's right. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> That's what it is. But Ty's at the gym. So... And I'm freaking... I'm buying a truck. Where's the, where's the keys? Look at this. Yeah. Look at that. Take a look at that. All right, How's here we go. Hey guys, are you ready for this? There it is. <laughs> Look at this. The hood's already popped for me. You know what that means? And we got this freaking. Uh, you can see the bed. That's the bed. So the bed has some damage. We're gonna go ahead and uh, start this bad boy up. It's got 166 on it. I mean, that ain't bad. It's got the million button steering wheel. This is the million button steering wheel. I've always wanted one of these. Give her a freaking cold start. Look at that, no, no cells. No cells. Yeah, it's got the million button steering wheel. It's got the freaking heated seats. Cool kid light bar. It's got, oh, where's the light bar switch at? Right here, here. All right, let's turn it on. Ready? Yeah. Oh, oh that. <laughs> That is like perfect. So it's got an intake and then I don't know what these, looks like coolant lines or something running up front. I don't know, I'll have to figure out what that is later, but little dent in the front. This side's not too bad, but uh, yeah, it's a Lariat two-tone. And you can see they cut off the freaking exhaust, like right there. It still has a cat and they've been sawing on it. But uh, I mean, it, it, I don't know. Doesn't have uh, doesn't have a, a ball, but it's got bags, so it's bagged. 
I got a bagged truck now. All right, let, 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 let's take it for a rip. Oh man, it's been a while since the last 600 I drove with Dave was like a couple months ago. It's been so long. Freaking six liters. I've never had like a fully freaking like loaded one like this though. Then the seats are nice, everything's nice. Heat works, nice. I feel a little vibration. We're going through the galaxy right now. Freaking spaceship. Six so sick. Six liter spaceship. Turn it up a little bit. Rub the tuner? Yeah. You got because notice the power difference. You gotta check it out. So Cole just informed me that he turned this thing on extreme the other day. Cole. No, keep going. Three. So oh you want you want Yeah, to, go to five. Well we're gonna test the intent. Oh, I guess we just go full send. Four is race, five is extreme. All right, so we're gonna test the head gaskets before I, I actually hand you guys some money. How was that? I mean, it's good because we're testing the tranny now too. <laughs> it moves pretty good. I mean, yeah. Should we go down that way? Uh, yeah. Well, let's go. Let's go right because this road is terrible. Yeah, Ooh, sideways. Drift in the truck now. Yeah, this thing rips. Dave's is only on the tow tune, so went completely sideways. <laughs> oh man, I think we're gonna go back. We're gonna turn her down. We're gonna turn it down. What is this thing? What? I don't know. We're we're in race now. G force. We can measure the G forces. I'm gonna have to figure this all out. Yeah, I don't know how that thing works. I mean, how the EFI like works, but. Nice. Maybe, maybe I'll just freaking sell the. I'll sell the, the 16 and this will be my in between until I get a 17. No, oh, there you go. Because I was actually thinking about it. I was talking about that the other day. I was like, well, if I sold my truck, like, what am I going to have? So you're going to come buy a 17 for me? Did you go to the wrecked ones? <laughs> <laughs> I want to get back to the galaxy. That's. <laughs> All you care about is the galaxy. Oh yeah, this power sliding glass window works. I mean, it doesn't have a sunroof either, which is nice. Trailer brake controller. Freaking loaded. Freaking loaded. This coolant temp staying nice and low, so we're There's no sauce in it though. No. Maybe we should have went down the bumpy road. It's up to you. We can go down it. So close to... Oh, it's back. It's so sick. It does have a little bit of shakes, but... Oh, it's, it's got some shakes. <laughs> It's all right. I mean, I got a, I got a deal, so. He did get a good deal, and uh, check out that. He bought his first car from a dealership. I bought, yeah, and I tell you about my, see, now I can actually go give you a review on, on the Facebook page and everything, and be like, you know, go over there, Colton Green, it's Bradley Ford Pueblo, just 
the, the nicest guy. The nicest guy ever. Got, got me into the, the truck of my dreams. Made it happen for me. <laughs> <laughs> Pulling back into the dealership. All right, so before we continue this video today, I just wanted to say, if you'd like Power Strokes, we have this Power Stroke American Flag shirt, and I just marked them down on MotionOnTV.com. So get yours, limited quantity, quantity remaining. I marked them down to twenty dollars from thirty dollars. So if you, if you like Power Strokes, you like you like freaking America, MotionOnTV.com. It is the the next day. Now it's actually a little bit light outside. Last night uh, when we did this thing, it was basically dark. They had it pulled in the shop and uh, couldn't really see a whole lot of stuff because it was on the lift and it was basically like we agreed on a price and I was like, all right, let's do it. Let's sign some paperwork. Let's get her done. So I guess let's take a freaking look at this thing today. So look at that. It has the keypad. Everybody wants me to have a keypad. So it is a 06, 165,000 miles Lariat. Um, again, it's got the million button steering wheel, which is what I really like. Um, sat out. You can see, there's it's kind of dirty. They, they obviously didn't clean it out because it was just a trade in. But uh, yeah, it looks like somebody had a bolt out of the back seat. No sunroof, which is nice. Little uh, little cell phone thing right here, but it's got the Edge CTS. And then I'm trying to figure out what that I think it has like an oil cooler or something on it. Didn't like I said, we didn't have really a chance to, to look at it last night. Yeah, so look at this. There's like no freaking on the oil filter still here. That's probably a fuel filter. Or a coolant filter. So this is, that's oil. This is fuel. Coolant filter. And this is coming right out of the, these lines. Look, they're all covered in oil and it comes right out of that. Oh, that's like the oil cover, oil filter cover thing. And then it has another line going over there. See that flashlight? I think this is one of those freaking like external oil cooler kits. Let's see. I didn't know they came out of the base. Goes right down there. So it has an oil filter over here. I know they came out of the base though. What's that big blue line going back? Oh, oh yeah, look at that. There it is. Freaking big old oil cooler. Right there. It looks like it has a thermostat on it too. That's interesting. It's like they like red Loctited the the got boots. A new, got a new alternator on it though. I mean, they all they all need them. Look at the heads. So this head said 07 on them. Oh, let me see that flashlight. Uh oh. Look at that. What? Freaking got head studs. Oh, yeah, it's got freaking head studs on it. Woo! See, but it still has the. It still has the EGR on it. Uh oh, so the EGR has some numbers on it. Oh no, this is one of those bulletproof EGR coolers. In the back, you could see where they they like re weld them. So this thing's like freaking. I think this thing's this thing's been bulletproofed. I mean, obviously it has the 07 heads. It says 0701 right there on the head. It has freaking head studs in it. It has the external oil cooler. It has the bulletproof EGR um, cooler, which basically it changes it from like a fin to kind of like a, a straight tube that goes through. So instead of it being like fins that get hot with exhaust gas, it just has a straight tube. And uh, that's how that is. But it does have the stock downpipe with the exhaust cut off. And then over here, it has this edge tuner. And you can see it has two little packs in it. I wonder if it has an EGT gauge that actually hooks up to it. But yeah, look at that, freaking studs. How you doing? That's tight. Cut that intake. I guess let's see if she'll... It's got recent batteries, I guess. Let's see what happens. Let's see if she'll cold start. I mean, they usually start with cold. That freaking light bar is insanely bright. High school kid, diesel truck. 
Well, he's a seven. He's a uh, high schooler with a freaking 2017 now. That was pretty smooth. Yeah, no check engine lights. It beeps for a while though, which is weird. I mean, it sounds nice. Yeah. Like, that's a nice freaking sounding six liter. Take it for a rip. Huh. Yeah, it doesn't have a fifth wheel ball. It has bags though. And then it has like an aftermarket hitch. That's not like a factory hitch, I don't think. And then the tailgate's all dented. This thing has this this bulb that was obviously kind of kind of messed up in there. So I think I might have another tail light. I mean, the exhaust it didn't like smoke or do anything. I wonder what kind of light bar that is. You can see it needs a little bit of paint, but like somebody's shooting a BB gun at it maybe, or it's rocks. This thing obviously needs put away, it's just hanging out. I don't know, I'm, I'm pretty freaking stoked. Yeah, I've, al I've always like, so, Oh, we got high idle now. So I've always kind of, I had one of these trucks for a little while. It was, um, I think I had it for about a month. It was actually a Laird. It had the million button steering wheel. So I lied last night. I actually had one, but I didn't have it very long. Um, but yeah, so I'm not 100% sure what exactly to, uh, to, to do with this truck. Basically the plan is kind of fix it up, get it going, and uh, you know, clean it up, do all that, that type of stuff, and then see what happens with it. We'll see what happens with it. So. Um, I guess that's that's pretty much it. So, the I guess the, the other option, the other thing that I was thinking was, uh, you know, well, I was talking about last night with David's truck. Dave's truck's right there, obviously. He's still waiting on uh, his headlight because he ordered like those really dope uh, like LED ones, and they're on back order. So that headlight right there doesn't have any um, it doesn't have any of the tabs on it, so he doesn't want it to rub the fender to put like the fender liner and everything in. So he's been driving around a little bit like that. Um, but kind of my idea was maybe, you know, like I was talking about his last night, like he did steering wheel and like the 17 is really, really nice. And I, I love my 16. I absolutely love the shit out of it. I, I love driving it. I love, you know, everything. But it, uh, you know, it's all done now. It's kind of, you just drive it. So the plan was always with that to kind of keep that for about a year and then, um, and then like sell it and then probably try to get a 17. And the other thing is, since I got big dirty, get rid of, got rid of big dirty in the giveaway, um, I uh, I don't have like a backup truck now. So if I need to like tow a trailer, if I need to haul some stuff around, I don't have a truck. Um, so it, it'd be hard to list that one for sale without having anything else to actually drive. So that's why I, like this is like kind of this is just an, an idea that's kind of going through my head right now. I could basically fix this one drive it it's a nice truck it's already been bulletproofed i freaking six liters i i really do like six liters they're an awesome engine once you do the the right upgrades and preventative stuff to them um you know if you watch like power stroke helps videos he, he says like freaking six liters they're kind of the best bang for the buck once you delete them and there's there's tons and tons of these trucks on the road and this one with 166k it looks like 
the, the I guess the guy who, who traded in just said he spent like 10 grand on it. So I mean, it probably has new injectors. Obviously, you've seen the head studs and the the you know the the like the oil cooler kit and all that other stuff. So honestly, that's probably about you know like I'd say five to seven thousand dollars in parts plus labor. So that's about a ten thousand dollar upgrade, which is pretty cool because I got this truck for uh, a hell of a deal. Um, all right, so driving this thing around, it uh, you can feel like a vibration kind of in the center, almost like a U joint in the drive shaft. And then when you hit the brakes, like the, the steering wheel and everything shakes on you. But uh, I mean, power wise, feels good. The tranny seems like it's shifting all right. Um, you know, engine temp, coolant temp, like all that stuff seems like it's kind of where it should be. Uh, I mean, the exhaust and everything sounds good. I definitely need to actually plumb that out the back, not, not just dumping right underneath the cab. But it's uh, we're in power level three right now, and it, it'll go up to five. So. We'll, we'll put her in, put her in four. Oh. Power level. Power level three drive. It keeps changing the freaking race. So we're in race power level right now. That's what they said, because I guess there was a tech there that actually was going to buy this, and then he was just like, no, nah, it needs too much work, so I don't want to mess with it. So, I mean, it's, it's not bad, I think. <laughs> it's go. like we're going through space right now. And, uh, yeah, so I, I guess that's it. Let me know what you think about that. Should I kind of fix this, clean this one up a little bit, drive it, and then just list my other one for sale? Uh, if it sells, it sells. If it doesn't, it doesn't. But, uh, and then I guess from there, just go ahead and start looking for like a 17 on the auction, because it's freaking 17s. Oh, they're nice. They're really freaking nice. They're expensive, but they're nice. So, that's about it, guys. I appreciate you. I, no, we, we drove it around a little bit last night. Uh, that's going to be it for this video, guys. I uh, appreciate you guys watching, and uh, I guess we'll probably see you tomorrow. We, we're freaking painting the damn Civic is what we're doing. So, um, I guess that's it. See you guys later.